Welcome back. I've only got 20 minutes for this. So I've got, this is the second part of the lipstick declutter and I'm going to go through it. Um, coming up is the second biggest pile that I've got and it's Avon. Now, I love Avon lipsticks. They're not long lasting, but I do love the colour range that they have and they've got some really good ones. And I'm going to go through them for you. Some of them haven't got their labels on. I've got a feeling I know what they are though. Um, so some of these I've had for a very long time and it may be time for me to bite the bullet and get rid of them. Um, in fact, these four and possibly there's maybe six have been with me for about four years. So I'm going to have to go through them. Now, I wish I could tell you what the make was. I'm not sure. So this one here is basically the same as this one. I think they're both called Warm. Oh, I thought they were the same, but they're not. I don't know what this colour is. Great. Okay. I don't know what the colour is of the one I've got in my hand. So for, let's have a sniff. It doesn't smell funny. It doesn't smell of anything. They don't. Um, so this is like a rosy toned colour. Very sheer and beautiful and definitely something that I love. So that I'm, I'm going to keep it. I haven't worn it for a really long time. It's got some gold sort of glitter undertones in it. I do like that. Yeah, I'm going to... That doesn't smell off, so it's staying. Then I've got Sparkling Warm Rose. It's another glittery one. I must have gone through a glittery phase. Yeah, just slightly different, a bit more corally. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the colour of it. I'm going to... That's going in the grey. Right, that's gone. And then Mocha Plum. Wow. It's like... Can you see that? It's got like... I don't even know what it's got going through it. It's meant to be there. I think it's meant to be like a balmy sort of colour. Ooh, that's pretty. Why don't I wear this anymore? I love that. That's definitely going in the purple. Love it. Okay, next up is Chili, which I know, oh God. That's seen better days, hasn't it? Sod it, bin it. Ooh, let's be ruthless. Um, next up is Red Embrace, in, and this one again, I was really into my reds. Oh, I mean, it is beautiful, look at that, but I actually have some similar, some newer. Um, and also Poppy Love, this is the colour trend range. Let's have a look what this looks like. Oh, it's practically the same colour, isn't it? It's nice though. No scent to it again. You, look, it's practically brand new. I never wore it. I'm going to keep this one because it's a very unusual colour. It's definitely a poppy red, so keep. Next, uh, I'm doing it in order of how long I've had it. Um, bronze Treasure. This looks brown to me, so I'm figuring it's probably going to go. Yeah, it's basically a brown. I'm never going to wear it bin. Um, and next two that I bought a little bit further on, this one's called Radiant Ruby. They're very, very glittery. That is a pretty colour. I'm going to keep that. That's going in the reds. Definitely going to keep it. And then finally, Fuchsia Fame. Wow, this is a very purpley, fuchsia colour. Oh, that is gorgeous. Keeping that 100% and it's going in the pinks. Right, so that's those. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I'm going to have to put these legs away. Like that. Mm, the pencils are a bit too long. So I'll keep the pencils out for now. Some of the pencils are a bit too long. Um, right. Okay. Talking to myself. It's ridiculous. Well, I'm talking to myself anyway. I'm on bloody YouTube. What am I talking about? Right, next up is the Extra Lasting Vintage Pink. Um, I really like this colour. Um, I got it recently in an Avon haul. Can you see that? It's lovely rosy, pinky, rosy colour. That's, oh, the lid's not very good. I find that a lot with Avon. The lids aren't very secure. Done, in. Blimey neck. Do you know what's really funny is I actually think, oh no, Toasted Rose. That's what that colour is, I think. 
Hmm. I don't know. Uh, where can I put it so you guys can see it here? This is toasted rose. Now that is a beautiful matte colour. Love it. Although I really do. If I put all my rose colours together, they all look the same. But that is very nice, very soft, very nice to wear. Sunny pink might be the wrong side of coral for me. I don't know. It is nice. It's almost a nudie colour, isn't it? Actually, that other one's a bit of a dark nude. That's going in the nudes. And this is... Oh, that was the bed. That was the bed. It wasn't me. <laughs> the bed just made a noise as if I was trumping. Um, I think that's going to go in the nudes as well. And then Rapid Rose. Another rosy colour. Oh, it's, it's exactly the same as the other one. Um, 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 um. I'm going to keep Rapid Rose. It's matte. And uh, what am I going to do with Sunny Pink? No, it is very different. I'm convincing myself. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, it's practically brand new, this one. This, um, what's it called? Sunny Pink. I think I'll put it in the graveyard. No, I can't do that. Put it in the pinks. Right, that's that done. Let's get rid of these. So that's Avon done. Avon is done. We're gonna get through these really quickly now, guys. If I can get this stuff off my arm. This is ridiculous, I'm covered. I might have to do the other arm. Although it doesn't look too bad on camera, but it is really bad in real life. Right, next up is Elf Cosmetics before they went bust. I got five lippies like this. I don't really wear them, um, which is a shame. So I'm gonna go through them and I'm probably gonna chuck quite a lot. Um, they're not easy to twist up and down. <sighs> Do you know what? I'm never gonna use them. All five, I'll show you the colors, but um, I won't even swatch them because you can have them if you want one. So there's this, you can't twist them. It's impossible. Posh is this one, which is like a dark berry nude, dark berry nude. Um, this one, oh, that's disgusting. And it's seductive, which is this sort of color. It's like a rosy toned one. These are, the packaging is ridiculous. Um, this very light colored mauve, lilac-y kind of pink, classy. Just dreadful. Um, this terracotta, I can't even get this up. Terracotta one called Voodoo. If you want that, it's not even been touched at all. If you want it, like I say, get in contact and I'll send it to you. And then Flirtatious, and that's not been touched either. And it's like a corally pink. If you want any of those, I'm not selling them very well. So um, you can have it for free just for postage. If you want more than one, we can just organise the postage together. Just get in touch. Uh, my email is somewhere, um, but you can get in touch anyway. Just if you leave a comment, I'll, I'll let you know. So they're gone. I feel really like I'm, I feel really cleansed after that. Okay, next up are my Rimmel. They're all Rimmel by Kate, I think. Are they all Kate Rimmel? No, one of them isn't. So we'll start with the one that isn't, and that is Rimmel 004 Indulgence. It's a corally pink, very bright, very pretty. Definitely keeping it. I love the Rimmel ones. I, I, I won't be getting rid of any of these. Um, number five, this is my, I would safely say this is my favorite lipstick of all time. It's like a deep raspberry and it just goes with everything. And I love it. They're very similar, but this one's a bit darker. My favourite lipstick of all time, that colour, number five. And number eight, which is quite iconic, it's like a dark nude, and I will put it in with the nudes. Um, there, you can see it there, a bit more rosy toned. That's going in with the nudes. I love that one. Um, and then we've got Kate 15, which is the one that was in my haul just recently, which is like a dark stony colour. It's just amazing. That's going in with the nudes. I'm going to have to twist these all around because otherwise they're not going to fit. Okay. So, there we go. Okay. 
that's going with the nudes. We've got Kate number 111, Kiss of Life. It's a matte and it's a beautiful matte red. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Comes in this red packaging. Love that. Going with the reds. I bet you I should do them in different colours as well in, in the future. And then we've got the new one, the nude 45, Kate. Um, and it's this lovely dark pinkish nude and it's gorgeous. In with the nudes. Okay, I'm really happy with that. That was zoomed through properly. Now, what have I done? There it is. I was going to say with my flannel because I am covered in swatches. Right, next up um, is any Maybelline ones. Now, I don't actually have many Maybelline ones, but I've got two. I've got uh, Midnight Plum and Pink Punch. These are the Colour Sensationals. I'll show you them here. The lids always um, sort of coincide with the colour that's inside. So this is the Midnight Plum. That's definitely going in with the purples. It's a sheery plum colour, brilliant on top of purple lipstick. Gorgeous. And then this one, again, is one of my favourites. And this is Pink Punch. And it's like a dark fuchsia. Absolutely stunning. I love the formula of these Maybelline ones, these colour sensationals. But I cannot find any other colours that I like. All of the colours I've just not been keen on at all. Which is a shame. That's going in the pinks. Then we've got the Colour Whisper Mad for Magenta. I got these off eBay and they are sheerer formulas. See that lovely pink sheer formula there? That's going in the pink. I love these. I love that they're a bit slimmer, but again, the packaging is similar, which I really adore. Um, ha, um, who wore it redder? And although this says it's a red, it's more of a, yeah, dark pink. Love that. That's going in the pinks. And finally, I have Berry Ready. This is so stunning, this colour. I'll put it under here. There you go, look at that at the bottom. That's got much more higher pigmentation in it. Really love that. That's going in the purples. Purples and berries. I suppose we could categorise them like that. Next up, the Colour Pop Lippy Sticks. I want to work this off, hadn't I? Um, the Colourpop Lippy Sticks, which I only just received recently, I ordered a while ago. Um, so we have the one that is on my lips at the moment, Scandi. I'm going to open the lid. I like how the lids stay on. Uh, and mm, Satin finish, really lovely scent, really love these. I'm keeping all of them, so I've got Scandi. That's in the pinks. Oh, they're slightly too long. Great. Um, I've got um, Fetch, which is a rosier toned. I'll just swatch that for you in case you want to see it. They're beautiful everyday pink, very neutral pink. Um, then we've got Button, which is another satin. Now this is a nude colour, one that I probably wouldn't normally choose. It's sort of a pinky, corally nude. Very pretty though, and I love that. That's going in the nudes. And finally, my favourite one of all four is I Heart This, and it is a matte, and it's this beautiful berry pink. And I'm going to put that in with the berries. I feel like I'm getting somewhere with these, so that's great. Next up is uh, P.S. Love by Primark. I actually have five lipsticks from them. Am I going to get through this video? Oh gosh, I don't know. Right, so five lipsticks from them. I've got um, this one, which is like a rosy coloured nude, just like that. Really love that. Smells funny though. I don't like the scent of that. It's going in the bin. Don't like that at all. And then I've got three of the matte lipsticks. I love the packaging of these. They look much more higher end than the others. I think they're absolutely stunning. So I've got... The matte lipstick in a nudie colour. It's like a nudie beige, greyish, gorgeous. That's highly going in my nudes. I've got a corally colour. Again, it's a matte, but it's very much, it looks coral there, but it's very much a pink, a bit less warm than you would have hoped. It's going in the pinks. And then there's this lighter sort of Barbie pink. Um, I do like it. I just don't know if it suits me, but I'm going to stick with it because I really like the packaging. So that's going in. And then finally, this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colour. 
bright pink, similar to what I've got on my lips. And that is, oh, just look at that. Look how beautiful that swatch is. It's very similar to what I've got on, actually. But that doesn't matter because I will probably wear it because I still love it. They were only a pound, so I'm keeping those. Oh, oh, not long to go. Um, next up, I've got my Milani lipsticks. I'm definitely keeping all of these. First one is Sweet Nectar 01, which is this beautiful orange colour. I'm not sure where that's going. I'm going to put it in with the reds because I'm not sure where else to put it. Um, I've got two very similar colours. Well, they look similar at the bottom, but they're not. I've got Plum Rose and Rose Femme. So Rose Femme is a dark brownie nude that's going in with the nudes. I've got Plum Rose, which is a much more pinky rose, and that's going in with the pinks. And finally, this is my favourite one out of all of them, Uptown Mauve. And this is, oh God, just look at that colour. It is stunning. That's going in with the pennies and purples. Okay. I'm rushing through these. I'm really sorry, but I've got about four minutes left to do all of these. And I may have to delete a video to continue and do a third part. So, um, in fact, that is what I might have to do. So, I'll just go through the Gerard cosmetic ones, of which I've got three. Um, I'll show you those first. The first one is Berry Smoothie. They're all sort of matte satin type. That one's like a berry, berry nude, maybe. It's like a dark berry nude. That will go in the nude. Um, 1995 which is exactly what it says on the tin it is a nude from 1995 and it's stunning and then finally we have rodeo drive which is actually another sort of pinky nude um so all three of those are nude colors and they are going in the nude box um Actually, I've got four of the MUA ones that I can probably get in in time. So I have the MUA ones are very similar to the Makeup Revolution pound packaging. But the first one I'll go through is the Lip Switch Matte Shine Duo. Now, this would be stunning if only the lipstick and the lip gloss was better. And I'm actually going to get rid of that. I don't want to uh, I don't want to keep that one at all. And then we've got a matte red here. I've got a feeling this is going to be very similar to that. Yeah, I don't really like that. That's going, it's a bit patchy. That's going in the graveyard. Um, then we've got, I think this is my favourite colour, lipstick shade 2. Ooh, that didn't twist up very well. Okay, um, and shade 2 is like um, a light berry colour. Oh, that's why it's broken. It's only that bit though, so we might be able to get away with it. Um, I'm going to put that one in with the nudes. That's filling up quite a lot. I never realised I had so many nude lipsticks. And then this one is, oh, what colour is this? Oh, it's on the lid. Uh, shade 7. I don't like the colour of this. It's a bit too corally brown. So that's going in the graveyard as well. So I've actually just kept one of the MUA lipsticks. Uh, I do have one minute left, so I'm just going to do one more trio, and it's the Be Beauty, Be Sweet collection that I got this year, earlier this year, and you've got Sherbet Dip, Lollipop, and Orange Boom. Orange Boom, it's unfortunate, but it's just gone very funny. Um, it's sort of fallen out of its casing, and it's exactly the same colour, but not as bright as um, sweet nectar so I'm actually going to put that into the graveyard then we've got lollipop which is a lovely bright fuchsia um, again I have many many like that that's going in the graveyard and finally I love the packaging though sherbet dip which is like a, a neon pink just look at the color um, oh, I don't really have anything like that so I'm going to keep that one and put it in the pinks wow that was quick 
So I'm going to stop the video there because we're second part. I thought I was going to do it in three. So the first video is not going to make much sense saying it's in two. And I'm going to delete another one of the videos that I've uploaded. And then I'm going to finish off this declutter for you. Excellent. Uh, I Excellent. Anyway, hope to see you in the next one. Look forward to seeing you in part three. Let me know and comment below if there's any that you want and you want to keep. So look forward to seeing you in the next one. And yeah, take care.